Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today I want to show you how to repot a house plant. So this video is geared toward beginners. Maybe you just picked up your very first house plant or were given one as a gift, or maybe you've had yours for a year and it's time to reassess the situation and bump it up a pot size. So I'm hoping that this video helps you out. And a huge thank you to Espoma for partnering with us on this video. So there are a couple reasons why you might want to repot your house plant. First of all, you might want it in something more decorative. Maybe you just picked up your plant, it's still in its plastic nursery container, and it's not a really good look for the inside of your your home. The second reason is your plant is outgrowing its current container and you can easily tell uh, that it's outgrowing it by sliding it out of its current pot, taking a look at the root system. If it looks like a big tangled mess of roots, it's time to bump it up a pot size. The first step is to choose a new container. You want to make sure that you choose one that's only about one to two inches larger than the size of pot that your plant is currently in. You also want to make sure that the pot has a drainage hole in the bottom because that's what will keep your plants the happiest. I prefer to use terracotta because they're porous. They allow a lot of oxygen in and out the sides of the container and that keeps the roots of your plant very happy. But you also want to keep in mind that because oxygen is flowing more freely, your plant will dry out a little bit faster. Plastic, resin, concrete, iron, all of those are great options as well. The second step is to use the correct soil. So most traditional house plants can be potted up using just a regular potting blend, which is what I'm using today when I plant up this Sansevieria. However, there are a few very common house plants that require a different soil blend. So if you have something like a cactus succulent or a palm, you'll want to use something like a cactus mix. If you have African violets, you'll want to use an African violet mix. And if you have orchids or bromeliads, you'll want to use an orchid mix. The third step is to put a little bit of potting mix at the bottom of your new container, just enough to bump up the root ball of your plant so that it sits at the level that it's currently sitting in its old pot. You don't want it buried too deep. The fourth step is to take your plant out of its old pot and then gently spread its roots so that it encourages new growth. Then you'll center it in its new container and then pack fresh soil tightly around the outside of the root ball. You want to eliminate any air pockets. The fifth step is completely optional, but you can add some top dress to the soil to make it look finished and tidy. I like to use rocks or moss. And the last step is to water your plant in thoroughly. You want to make sure it's settled into its new home really well. And don't forget to use fertilizer. So just like there are different types of soils for plants, there are different types of fertilizers for different types of house plants. But in general, I use an indoor specific plant food and I'll use it about once a month. All right, guys, that's it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love it if you would do that. And if you know of a friend who would benefit from this information, please share the video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.